Thank you. Uh, good morning. I'm here today to announce the Joint Agency ICE Strike Team, which is a multi-agency state and Commonwealth team that will focus on preventing and detecting the production, importation and trafficking of methylamphetamine in South Australia. The team will be led by the South Australia Police, but will also include members from the Australian Federal Police, Australian Border Force, Australian Criminal Intelligence Commission, the Australian Taxation Office, Department of Home Affairs and the Australian Transaction Reports and Analysis Centre. The team will have a strong focus on air cargo, sea cargo, international and domestic mail and how those supply chains link with the illicit drug market in South Australia, both within the metropolitan and regional areas. We know through wastewater analysis and our own intelligence that the use of the drug is across the state and there are also regional areas that are impacted by the high use of methamphetamine. The team will be able to prosecute people both under state and Commonwealth legislation and members will be sworn into both the Australian Federal Police and the South Australia Police. The team will continue our law enforcement efforts to reduce the illicit drugs impact and often a tragic impact on individuals, their family, friends and the state's community more generally. The expertise and tools used by each agency will be readily available to quickly and effectively investigate criminal activity such as international supply chains and local production or tra trafficking of methamphetamine. Whilst we have achieved significant results in the seizure of large clandestine laboratories late last year and methamphetamine product, the demand for the drug continues. This joint agency approach will continue to make South Australia a very unattractive place for organised crime and individuals to import, distribute and produce methamphetamine or any other illicit drug. And importantly, their prey on the vulnerability of those who are affected. The resolve of all agencies is very strong and the chances of detection of those people who seek to conduct this activity are even greater. The issue, however, is a community problem and until the demand for the drug reduces, organised crime networks with a motivation on greed and profit will continue to exploit the strong desire for the drug. As always, I encourage any person with information on illicit drug activity to contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. I now have pleasure in handing over to Commander Peter Sokora from the Australian Federal Police. You've no doubt seen um, over the last few years the record seizures that have occurred here in South Australia. Now whether that it's through importations, and we had some record seizures last year, uh, through interstate cross-border uh, seizures that have occurred from the east, west and the north, or even now locally where we're seeing the dismantling of clan labs uh, in our suburbs here in Adelaide, um, we've still got a problem. We still have a problem and we need to address this problem. Hence the creation of this joint agency strike team which is going to really harness um, the collective of state and, and Commonwealth agencies um, to look at the problem of ice and other drugs within South Australia. The expertise behind me you see, the capabilities we can bring, uh, plus also our resources, will ensure that over the next period of time we are going to concentrate all our efforts on tackling this problem. We are going to start overseas, whether it's in Asia, whether it's in Europe, whether it's in the Americas, we're going to start at the uh, supply chains. We're going to start from there and work our way down. We'll use our international officers to provide us with intelligence information about what is happening locally and domestically. We will also then look at what's happening locally, supply and distribution, and we'll work our way up. So what we're going to concentrate on is areas such as Mount Gambia, Sejuna, Riverland, um, you name it, we will be there and we'll be tackling the problem at a very regional and local level as well. All I can say is to those people that are out there, this is a significant problem uh, uh, to the community. There's harm to the community, there is harm to our social system, uh, there's harm to our families, there's harm to the individuals. We need to really do something about this and this strike team will start to make some inroads into what hopefully will be uh, a downturn in the supply and the demand of ice in South Australia. For those of you um, that are out there, the people that are uh, here at the moment with regards to the strike team, 
there is a whole lot of intelligence that we hold as agencies. We're going to combine that intelligence and really create a picture of crime of how ICE is affecting South Australia. Through that picture of crime, we will identify who the people are. We know mostly who the people are, but in this process we will eventually identify others as well. And the message is very clear to those people out there who are supplying, distributing, importing drugs by whatever means, uh, you will eventually get caught. And this, this strike team will uh, make sure that there's that significant chance that that will occur. Thank you. I'll hand you now to Brett Levy. Thanks, Pete. Good morning, everyone. The Australian Border Force is pleased to be here today alongside our partners in South Australia Police and the AFP. We've seen the success that multi-agency cooperation can bring in combating the illicit drug market. More and more frequently, the ABF is working together with our law enforcement partners from Australian state and territory governments to combat crime. This multifaceted approach will see our agencies, all of our agencies, <coughs> sharing intelligence, technology and resources and providing support to the operations for the Joint Agency Ice Strike Team. The ABF will work at the border continuing to intervene uh, to prevent illicit drugs entering Australia and that combined with providing resources to assist the JAST in an investigative capability. Any questions, ladies and gentlemen? Some of the more unusual agencies like the ATO, how will they contribute exactly? Who's the question to? ATO? Yeah. Um, well, the, the ATO will work with the our partner agencies. Um, obviously, share and dis disseminate intelligence is one key factor. For, for debt collection as well, that'll be a primary um, role for the ATO as well. And um, as a needs be basis, dedicate resources on particular um, referrals that are fed into the ATO. So we're a, quite a, we'll be a proactive, active member of the, the task force. So it's not identifying large sums of unexplained money, is that as well? Well, look, everything's, as Peter tried to say, there, there's a, uh, obviously a, an endemic problem here in South Australia. So we'll use all our resources and capabilities, our intelligence functions, work with our partner agencies. So that's, we can't discount that. So um, as cases come in, it'll be on its own merits. We'll look at them and work with our partner agencies. Is this a national first program? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, um, it's being trialled here in South Australia, but there is interest from other states as well. WA and the Northern Territory are just as bad, if not worse. So why is South Australia a better place to trial it? I think um, given uh, some of the things that we've been seeing recently in this state, when you look at the wastewater data, when you look at some of the seizures that have occurred here in the last couple of years, um, you've got the clan labs that were dismantled um, last year as well. I think that this state was probably uh, uh, one of the good places to start. And I think too, why one of the reasons we have been selected is because the relationships here are very strong. The relationships between all agencies here and we work very closely together is probably one of the best around the country, if I could say. And I, I think by those relationships, we can make a significant impact through this strike team. How much will it cost? Uh, there, there is no cost. It is The cost is being borne by all the agencies to, to form this team. Getting the start from the supply chain and working out backwards, is there any particular countries you'd be targeting other mandatory teams overseas? Now, we've already got uh, international officers overseas um, undertaking it. So we have got international officers all through um, Asia. We have them in America and Europe. Um, obviously, we'll be using the intelligence that we've gleaned from previous importations in Asia. And I won't go into specific countries because that's a cross-border issue there with them too. Um, but we'll be using that network to provide intelligence. In fact, we've already got intelligence on a lot of these uh, key players here. Uh, and then we'll use that to then further the go down the chain. I don't think so, no. Uh, really, this is just a new opportunity for us. Um, we've always had very good relationships with both our state and Commonwealth partners. But I think what this task force enables us to do is really focus in on the issue. Um, not that it hasn't been part of our priorities, but coming together in a, a strike team like this just gives us a new opportunity to refocus back in on the ice problem. Given that we have had you know, record seizures here in Australia, would you say that the problem is getting worse? Uh, I'm not sure it's getting worse. I think from our point of view, we would really like to see the demand reduce. And people will keep producing the drug while the demand is there. If the demand drops off, so does the supply chain. They don't have a market anymore. So unfortunately, this is just part of the problem. Um, it is a broader social issue in terms of reducing that demand. Uh, but I don't think the problem is, is any worse. The simple fact is it is a problem 
its impact on the community is broad. Uh, and if a you know, family has a member who's a, a drug addict, uh, the issues they deal with uh, are quite profound, really. So, again, just an opportunity for us to, to refocus back in with our state and Commonwealth partners. Do you have a goal in terms of time frame? No, no. Um, in terms of um, this particular trial, it uh, certainly will be assessed along the way and looking at its outcomes and achievements. And uh, it may be the case that we need to um, change things slightly. Uh, but in terms of our trial, we're very appreciative of the support that uh, South Australia Police are being offered by the Commonwealth Partners. Is there any sort of warning or message to the dealers and people that are making this out there that you guys are boosted and bolstered and sort of ready to, to catch everyone, you know, with all this extra support that you're providing with your team? Oh, absolutely. This is a strong message. If you choose to traffic and deal and import drugs, your chances of detection are even greater than they've ever been. So if you want to take the risk of committing a very serious offence, um, these offences do attract imprisonment. Um, if that's the risk you're prepared to take, then we're out there to get you and uh, make you accountable for your actions. Do you think the amount of drugs coming in is more of it being produced locally or is the majority coming in from overseas? Uh, from our point of view, it's quite a blend, I think. Um, what this operation is looking to do is, is spread um, the work across the different supply chains, whether that's by international mail, whether it's by sea cargo, air cargo, um, people who come in through airports and also our local production. So there's no one particular source. Um, certainly offshore is a supply network, um, but then once it hits the shore, uh, there's got to be a, um, a local market as well for that. So I think what this strike team is looking to do is looking at all those avenues of the supply and attacking each one of those. Final questions, please? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.